Hi everyone, this is Dan from Handheld Support, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to a wireless network on the new handheld, the MC75. Okay, so you can see that I have a handheld right here, and the first thing I'm going to do is turn it on by hitting the red power button in the top right corner. And to start out, we're all going to want to be on the startup screen. Um, to do so, from any screen, you can do a warm boot, and it'll take you to the start screen. So we can all do that right now. I'm going to press and hold the red power button for about 10 seconds until the handheld reboots. So it, it takes about 30 seconds to boot back up. It'll take us to the start screen. And the first thing that we're going to see as soon as it boots up, it, it should be right on the clock on the start screen. Okay, and it's coming up right now. Um, as soon as it boots up, you usually want to give it a few seconds to catch up. It, it takes a few seconds before it's responsive. Okay, as you can see, I can scroll up and down using the stylus pen. When it boots up, it starts at the clock right there. And what we want to do is scroll down one. So you want to be right there on log on off where it says Wi-Fi. Okay, so if you can see that, you should see a button at the bottom that says Fusion Management, and we're going to click that button. Okay, after you hit Fusion Management, you're going to get this menu right here, and we want to click Find WLANs. Okay, so as soon as we click Find WLANs, it's going to do a scan and it's scanning for wireless networks that are around me. And where I'm located right now, the wireless network is called IOR Guest. So I'm going to find that on the list, and I'm going to press and hold on it. This menu is going to pop up, and I want to hit Create Profile. Okay, as soon as I hit Create Profile, it will bring us to this screen, and you can see in the bottom left corner, it says we're on step one of eight. So if, if you're setting up your home wireless, what we want to do here is call this profile home. So we're going to tap the keyboard button that's on the bottom of the screen, it brings up the keyboard, and then I'm just going to type home, H-O-M-E. Okay, as soon as I'm done with that, I'm just going to hit the keyboard button again and get the keyboard off the screen. And I've got my profile name typed in there, so the next thing I'm going to do is just hit the next button. Okay, now we're on step two of eight here. And the only thing we want to do on this screen is just hit this drop down box and we're going to select USA. This pop up will come up and we're just going to hit OK. Alright, so if you've selected USA, just go ahead and hit the next button. Okay, we're now on step three of eight. And here we just want to make sure that this security mode says WPA2 personal. So as long as it says that, we're all set. We're just going to hit next. Alright, we're now on step four of eight. And what we want to do on this page is hit this drop down box and we're going to select TKIP. Okay, after we've done that, you want to click the radio button. It's right next to passphrase. So we want TKIP, we want passphrase selected, and then we're going to hit next. Okay, on this screen, it's asking for your wireless security key. If this is your home wireless network, 
you should know what your password is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter this one in right now. Okay, so I brought the keyboard up on the screen by hitting that button. I typed in my wireless password and then the same password in the confirm field here. Now I'm going to get rid of the keyboard and you can see that the status will tell you that the two keys match. As long as they match, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. We're now on step six of eight. We're not going to do anything here. We just want to hit next. We're now on step seven of eight. We're not going to change anything here. We're just going to hit next. And the last step eight of eight, we're not going to make any changes here. We're just going to hit save. Okay, so after you hit save, it'll flash and it'll go to a screen that has a list of profile names. Um, as you can see, I've already created another that profile called home. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. I'm just going to press and hold on it. That menu is going to pop up and I'm going to hit delete because I don't need that one. So you can see that the one that I just created is highlighted here and it's got an icon to the left of it. It's telling me that it's connected and so that's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and exit out of this. So it'll take us back to the start screen. And this is telling me that I'm connected to my wireless network. And it says the signal is very good. So we have now connected to a wireless network. And we created a profile for it. So it'll automatically connect whenever you're in range of this network. Okay, those are the steps for creating a wireless profile and connecting to it, and thank you.